Ah, here's some old signal bases. And a fallen telegraph pole. Must have been some kind of overhead thing here once. There's some more conservation land. It's generally pretty quiet. Cool, some freight came through. This is probably the spot where the down easter stops. The Wildcat Branch has several significant forest and wetland buffer areas along it. Yeah, I see the fencing and everything is gone here. You can just walk right over into the woods. There really isn't much of a shoulder to safely walk on. So I really wouldn't recommend this to anybody. Oh, there goes some morning doves. Mostly threading through suburbia. Significant wetland over here. Fairly significant little wetland. Probably created by some beaver long ago. We're coming up on grade crossing number three. I'm still ending up winging it because I forgot my map stuff somewhere back there. Oh well. This might be Salem Street. My aim is to follow this until it meets the Haverhill line, where I believe a lot of work is going on. Then I'm going to leave it for a town street and work my way up to Ballardville. That 
that's our way to Wilmington Junction or Wilmington Station and forward is our way to the Haverhill line here in the gorgeous heart of the Wildcat Branch. This is Lubber Brook. Seventeen culvert zero thirty. Maybe this particular grade crossing will be named so I'll be able to figure it out. I think the last one, the mystery one, was probably Salem Street. But I don't know. to the third grade crossing. Some kind of platform it looks like is here. Maybe it was a weird little station platform. Not sure what this street is. Probably something like Lowell Street or Salem Street or whatever. A lot of traffic here in Little Wilmington. Yeah, this is probably an important street. Every street is an important street in Massachusetts. Ah, Salem Street, it is, and Wildcat is mentioned. 